Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to find the current flowing through any electrical network using MATLAB. I have to consider the problem. Find the current flowing through 3 ohm and 4 ohm resistor using MATLAB. Here consider the circuit. It consists of 3 resistors and 2 voltage source. Now, I am going to explain how to solve the circuit and how to find the current flowing through 3 ohm and 4 ohm resistor using MATLAB simulating model. So first of all, open the MATLAB window. So in a MATLAB window, click on the simulating library. So in a simulating library, first of all, go to the file and then new, then create a model. So one separate window will open. Then you have to expand the window size. Next directly go to the same power system. In a same power system, you have to click on second generation. And the second generation, first you have to click on the electrical sources. Because we need DC voltage source. So what I have to do, I have to click, in, click on this and right click. Then add to untitled 2. And then I have to increase the size by maximizing button. So that the size will be increased. Now, now I have to place this. Then I need elements. So I go to the element and have to click on the series or LC branch and add untitled. I get the series or LC branch also. And next I need the ground. So again electrical uh, sources. And go to the measurement now. Then I have to click the current measurement. So add to untitled. So current is also current measure, measurement block. And then have to click the second generation and power guide that is very important for measurement like voltage, current and power. So power guide is over and then scope block I needed. So what I have to do in the starting, simulating, under simulating we are having things. The same uh, display. So add to untitled to. So that's all. And another one I need that is ground. So I have to press this. Uh, uh, put the ground here. And click on this. I will get the ground. So in the ground also. I have to right click it. Add to untitled to ground terminal. I will get that's all. So these all blocks I needed to form the electric circuit. So in the electric circuit, two voltages, voltage sources, one is 20 volt and another one is 10 volt. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to form the voltage sources. So here you have to drag the voltage source first. And you have to select this DC voltage source. And you have to delete this. And you have to substitute 20 volt here. And next, this I have need another one voltage source. So I have to copy the same voltage source again. And then I have to paste it. Then I have to put a voltage value that is 
10 voltage. Now, 2 voltage sources are over. And afterwards, I need the resistance. What I have to do? I have to click on the resistance. Then in the branch type, I have to put R. And then apply, then OK. OK, then I will get the resistance. So first, I have to put the value of resistance that is 4 ohm. 4 ohm. And then I have to place the resistance here. Then I have to copy the same resistance again because I need another two more resistance. Then paste it. And next resistance is 3 ohm. So I have to substitute 3 ohm here. And I have to delete the 1. And next, I have to copy the same one and paste. Then I have to invert the rotator flip, go to the rotator flip and then clockwise rotation. So I will get this and now this block is over. After that, I need current measurement but here the value is 2 ohm. So I have to put 2 ohm and the extra 1 will be deleted. And then current measurement block, I am going to measure the current flowing through 4 ohm. So I have to keep the measurement block here and I have to put CM, current measurement, so CM. And same block is copied once again and I have to place the same block here and then I have to flip the block rotate and flip and the flip block so now i get this one just you have just i have to drag it then display so one of the display and here another one display also i have needed so copy and paste this and display and this player display have to uh, flip the display Okay, no need, of, no need to flex the, flip the display. Then I have to place the ground terminal here. Now I have to change the value of resistance. Already it is 1. So I have to change it by 4 and then apply then OK. And here also I have to change the resistance to 3 and apply then click OK. And here also I have to change it to ohm and then apply and OK. And here, but the 20 volt already in 100, so I have to change it to 20 and apply and OK. And here, I have to con convert in uh, change it to 10 volt, apply and OK. That's all. These are the components needed. After that, I have to connect all the components. See, in this way, I have to connect the component. So, all the components are connected this like. This component is connected here and this is connected here and I have to connect all the components together and this resistance is connected here then this ground is connected here then I have to connect the display this is display number 1 and here I have to connect the display it gives the current value 2. Then what I have to do, this is a circuit, circuit is over. Then go to the file and save us by simple electric circuit SM1. Sorry, SE1. So I have to save it. And then what I have to do, I have to run the circuit. So now the simple electrical circuit is processing. I will get the answer 3.0770.7692. So this is the current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor and this current is flowing through 3 ohm resistor. That's all. In this way, any electrical circuit is solved by means of the simulation. Thank you. Have a nice day.